With the fall of the Boko Haram stronghold, Kamzero in Sambisa Forest in Borno State, northeast Nigeria, this symbolic feat is being trailed by a narrative that raises many unanswered questions on whether Nigerians can heave a sigh of relief on a final triumph over Boko Haram. With anxiety over the possibility of the Boko Haram escapees infiltrating the society, was the capture of Camp Zero a true victory or a tactical withdrawal on the part of the insurgents? While the continuous attacks by the Boko Haram in Northeast indicate a major reprisal, the need to set the record straight on the news that went viral about some elements in the Nigerian military aiding the escape of some Boko Haram escapees. And the begging question, who are the sponsors of this terrorist act? What has been done to cut the logistic supplies of the insurgents? It's question time. Welcome to the program. I'm Benga Ashiro. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. The United Nations says Boko Haram is broke. But how much of intelligence have been deployed to gain strategic advantage over the offshoots of the Boko Haram? To put this into perspective, Channels TV was in the military high command in Meduguri, the capital of Borno State. We had a chat with the theater commander of the operations, Lafia Dole, Major General Loki Irabo. Join us in this exclusive interview. Well, um, you're right that um, Nigeria is jubilated. And of course, that also was a source of motivation for us that what we've done, Nigerians do appreciate. Incessant attacks, well, that adjective, I may not agree with it. But of course, there have been attacks. That is uh, not unexpected. The reason being that um, when the enclave, the safe haven, so called, of the Boko Haram terrorists have been destroyed and they are routed from where they have been for a long time and they have um, more or less built what they may recall, uh, refer to as a fortress then of course you respect that um, they wouldn't just go like that without a fight. And so what you find on their um, way running out to wherever they may want to find to want to regroup, um, uh, they will certainly have to carry out one of those attacks. And that is the reason why we have heightened our pursuit operations against the Boko Haram terrorists. And um, the operation is still on course. We have recorded successes in terms of um, apprehending those who are on the run and also destroying uh, some of the equipment and capturing the others. So um, uh, by and large, I will say that we're on course. There is no cause for alarm. Um, uh, every uh, Nigerian, and especially those who reside in the Northeast, should go about their normal duties. Examining the nature of asymmetric warfare, which is not restricted to location, actually is a thing of the mind. Some people call it an ideological warfare. Um, relating that to the capture of Camp Zero, some people feel that some security experts raised the yellow flag that that, was, that could just be a mere tactical retreat on the part of the Boko Haram. But the Nigerian military did not heed to this warning. You see, you must also understand that um in assessing threats, there are a wide range of factors that you need to put into consideration. We, of course, uh, understand that um, this war is not just a military uh, component, military component that will be involved or that is involved. Other stakeholders also need to be involved. All that we did was to uh, sensitize the relevant agencies to know that um, these are the likely um, reactions that we find outside of uh, Operation Lafayette uh, Dooley Theatre of Operation. And that, of course, explains why you find that um, some of those uh, Boko Haram terrorists who fled from San Misa Forest, some went as far as Lagos and they were apprehended. Some were also apprehended in, in Kano. Some were apprehended in Zamfara State. And some were apprehended in Gombe. And some were apprehended in Taraba. So, um, uh, that they were apprehended gives you an indication that um, we have had some form of collaboration with other stakeholders where we, um, I will say, sufficiently sensitized those that may need to know. Uh, it, it's not, it's not um, 
um, uncommon to find that um, uh, because there are issues that are of concern, um, um, you know, other uh, stakeholders, or those you may refer to as security experts, may possibly, of course, um, have reason to um, make the comments that they have made. But would you rule out the possibility of a tactical retreat, considering the possibility that the Boko Haram could have shifted their base and relating this to similar uprising in southern Kaduna? Well, um, you know, there's nothing that is impossible um, when you're talking about asymmetric warfare. Um, it's, not, it's not impossible that um, because we have made life unbearable for the, the terrorists within the theater of operation, uh, they may want to find um, a safe haven in other uh, locations. Don't forget that uh, we also have an operation which is not uh, under Operation Lafayette Dole, but rather a separate operation, Operation Safe Haven, uh, that is um, in Jaws, in Plateau State uh, specifically, and some parts of, uh, uh, of uh, Bochi State, um, especially the Tafabalewa um, area of uh, Bochi State. Now, that operation, of course, um, was there, or rather is there, is operating because there is a challenge along those general area. That um, you find, um, you know, issues bordering on insecurity does not necessarily mean that uh, it has a, a, a direct link to uh, Boko Haram terrorists. But of course, uh, that does not mean we will not uh, put our searchlight in those linkages. And um, I'm aware that Operation Safe Haven is also uh, make an attempt to extend its tentacles to uh, uh, certain Kaduna general area. And in addition to, of course, um, the operation that one division of the Nigerian Army is also conducting in those general areas uh, to see how there can be a handshake in terms of uh, um, collaborating with, with each other, ensuring that issues of insecurity in that area is, is well addressed.